So today we're going to be watching the failure of Rainforest, the, the furry convention, I'm pretty sure. I've heard of this, but all I know about it is that it was an utter disaster and it had furries. So uh, let's go on this trip together. Where are we? We're at Rainforest. Ah. In September 2015, a group of furries came together with a brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't wear this, but that looks really really comfy. That man that man is probably very comfy right now. In September 2015, a group of furries came together with a brilliant idea: Rainforest, a convention for and by furries. This. Is their story. I mean, I'm just bringing in all the dirty laundry here, so you guys are lucky, and I'm probably going to ask you to not post that video, Mr. Oh, yeah, they're totally Rainforest not going to. is the reverse of DashCon. Where DashCon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused what by the? its attendees. Is this what they call inflation porn? Hmm. I am absolutely sure there is no truth to the rumor that Rainforest is under an evil curse. I am... Is that Disney's Robin Hood? And with that, it is my pleasure to officially declare Rainforest 2015 open. Yay! Oh no. It all started with a talent contest. That went okay. No. No. Ah! But as the night went on, some started to get. Thank, thank God they blurted it out. Oh. What? A few hours later, the destruction had begun. Somebody had deliberately loosened the bolt on one of these toilets. So that when the next person flushed, Why? water flooded everywhere, two and a half uh, inches deep. An emergency uh, plumber was quickly on the scene, but goodness. the damage was already done. Water had leaked through the floor and onto the basement servers below. Meanwhile, staff and security are threatening yeah, get to them out of there. some of the guests. They had disabled the fire alarm so they could hotbox their room. Ooh. What's the point of all this, you know, pointless vandalism? Excuse me? Who goes into a frickin' hotel and decides, you know what, I'm gonna fuck shit up by needlessly uh, loosening a bolt? Or destroying the fire al al alarm? Just go, just go outside! My. Obviously, there are reasons not to do that. Down at the hot tub, someone took all of these towels and threw them into the spa. But not Why? before rolling up towels and stuffing them directly into the pump. What the- Thousands of dollars in damage. Why? You're here to be furries at a convention, not vandals. And what in it what, why? From Dashcon. Don't from get in the pool. One. Do you know how expensive those costumes are? Those are like thousands of dollars, I'm pretty sure. Don't go into the pool with that. In the ball pit, to going number two in the swimming pool. <laughs> Back at the bar, <laughs> there were rumors that someone had drilled a glory hole into one of the stalls. Although this wasn't confirmed. Mm. But what was confirmed was a haul of over 2,000 nitrous oxide canisters just laying around in rooms and hallways. What's that? But that was just the start of the drop. What, what's problem. nitrous oxide? First, a couple of guys overindulge in mushrooms and need an ambulance. As you then do. Then a staff member gets arrested for sexual assault. Then someone else is arrested for regular assault. <laughs> a few others drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other side of the car park, two more people are being arrested, one for drug possession and the other for dealing. Drugs was the major problem. Yeah, I had no idea Furries partied this hard. I can't, I couldn't party with them. I wouldn't be able to keep up. Just another reason I can't be a furry. Sad. Meanwhile, you have these guys roaming. Is that a diaper? They call it crinkling, after the noise it makes when they walk around. And yes, some of these diapers are full. Mm. The other guests weren't too pleased. Later on, they're, they're just like, throwing. Those old people are like. Wait, the wait, other wait. guests weren't too pleased. 
These old people are like, man, I got, I'm wearing a diaper myself. You don't see me run around with it on my head with a full diaper. Hell no. Eased. Later on, they're just throwing food and diapers in the gardens and stairwells. They were behaving like animals. <laughs> One thing that's important is the U.S. that you guys all be really good back to the hotel. Do you know the elevator buttons? This guy looks odd. He seems oddly placed to be in charge of a convention for furries. He's so professional looking. Ha 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 ha. A few hours later. Put your pants on and stop breaking shit! But that wasn't the end of it. Mm. Uh, there was an incident where uh, diapers came down on people's cars. The hotel was left in ruins. Fucking animals! to six weeks later. The Hilton submitted a letter listing all of the reasons Rainforest would not be allowed to from now on. The hotel damage was more than all of the other cons combined that year. Wow. But it wasn't just the damages. Rainforest was insured and had over... Is that... Is that Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's that's buff and shirtless for some reason? Okay. All right. 150 grand in the bank to pay for it all. Rainforest was just so toxic that they said, No, thank you. Take wow. it on the but that left them with a rather large problem because big hotel chains talk. Hilton talks to Sheraton, talks to Marriott, talks to Holiday Inn, talks to Hyatt, talks to Best Western, but there's more. Other companies are like this too oil companies, even if they compete against each other. Uh, a lot of the big people up top are uh, are buddies with each other, so they 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 talk. Even if you're like, oh, they're competitors, they wouldn't talk to each other. Nah, nah, you can get blacklisted very easily. Someone was sending detailed letters to nearby venues, warning them why they shouldn't host the next rainforest. Soon, there isn't one hotel in Seattle that has a convention center willing to host them. No other hotel this side of the state wanted to take us from Seattle to Bellingham. What's interesting is that the organizers knew who was sending the letters. These are the things that were talked about in that letter, and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that. Uh, yeah, I, in my heart of hearts, I know who it is. It means more of an opportunity around. What'd you do and to this person, huh? In case you missed that, what he's saying is whoever sent the letters was the same person who was putting diapers on these cars. Sabotage. Running low on options, they started to look further outside of the city. They managed to find a venue in Spokane that was willing to give them a shot. But by February, none of that mattered. The diaper-wearing saboteur had sent out another letter, and Spokane backed out. So Rainforest 2016 was cancelled. And that's the story of Rainforest. So far. Unlike Dashcon, Rainforest is coming back, and Rainforest 2017 promises to be bigger and better than ever. <laughs> oh, RF 2017, they're bringing it back! They're bringing it back! He's so excited! <laughs> oh, so many memories! So many memories, so much vandalism, yay! So many memories! Oops, never mind. As I was editing this, uh, this happened. <laughs> so it's cancelled forever. Bye. That guy ruined it. That guy ruined it. This is why you don't get your hopes up. One last, last thing. Oh. A couple months ago, I made a video called Balloon Boy, The Untold Story. I remember that. Soon I remember after, that thing. I watched Richard it on the news. Got in touch. Here it is. All right. For a follow-up to this story, check out my second channel, Incognito Mode. I know that channel. I know that channel. All right. Well, that was uh, that was interesting. I don't know why people feel the need to become vandals. That they're hosting you. They're giving you the opportunity to have a venue for your out output outlook or whatever it's called. You know, being furries, whatever. Be a furry. I don't give a shit. Don't be fucking savage vandals. God, just why, why you gotta ruin things for other people? Because I bet the majority of the people there were fine people. But this, uh, all it takes is a few bad apples to ruin the bunch. 
So uh, I guess the lesson here is um, don't be a degenerate uh, furry that goes to Hilton's and stuffs towels into radiators or whatever it was that they did. I already forgot. I'll see y'all next time. And leave any, uh, any recommendations on reactions down in the comments below. Bye.